you live in the mid-Atlantic, fishing through the wintertime takes different techniques, different clothing, and a different attitude. But for those who are willing to make the change, the payoff can be fish year-round. We took advantage of that fact during the first few weeks of January on the Chesapeake Bay. There he is. Oh, how do you miss that? Tiniest little tap. Oh. There he is. <laughs> a lot of trophies we came out here after, but all right, one way or another. That's the first fish of 2013. <laughs> all right, let's try again. This time of year, the fish are going to be deep, so look for some of the deepest holes you can find in typical areas that have both structure and current. With the move in the right direction here on this. The thing I love this time of year when you're jigging on, you know, schools that are visible on the sounder, you just never know size-wise. Tackle's really important when the fish are this deep. You need to make sure you're using enough weight to get your lure down into the strike zone where those fish are going to be feeding. A couple inches, first week in January. Finding fish isn't always easy this time of year, but when you do, the payoff can be big. On this day, we were able to find a good school of fish that we fished over for hours until the current died out. A little more like what we're looking for now. Thank you. Famous last words. I just have my drag too light. Yeah, a little better. Take him. Chunky little guy. Alright, so. Gradually moving in the right direction. Still not what we want, but come on. Make sure you're prepared with a variety of tackle. You're going to need heavy jigs to get down deep, and you're also going to need some different types of jigs. While we were doing all right with soft plastics, we found that when we switched over to heavy metal jigs with teaser rigs, we caught more fish and better fish. This guy. I'm going to stop saying he's doing better. They're all the same size. <laughs> there 
Yeah. Same size as always. When you're fishing over fish in deep water, make sure you're stuck to the bottom and you're down in the strike zone. Five to ten feet made a huge difference on this day, and if you weren't down deep in the strike zone, you weren't catching. So watch your technique and keep it down there. The most exciting part when he's up in the show himself. It's a big grizzly. It's a big grizzly tank. Yeah, right. Ah, oh, got right off. The release? You need to be the best one. Real hit and run bite, you know. Throw on it, spit it right out. Safety is always important, but in the winter time, it's critically so. The water temperatures that you'll find in the Chesapeake Bay during the winter time are enough to kill you in minutes. Make sure you've got a fishing partner with you. Wear a PFD, and always tell someone where you're going and when you're going to be home. Stay safe. Uh, I think it's that same size range we've been getting. Maybe just a little better. Oh man, it's January, we're fishing, we really care. And remember, it's catch and release only on the Chesapeake Bay in the winter time. So practice good catch and release techniques. Mash down those barbs, take good care of the fish at both side, and release them to swim away healthy. Suck that little, ah, little dropper fly right in, didn't you? That's yeah, getting a little closer to what we're out here at. Fishing in the wintertime takes a little more effort, a little more endurance, and a lot less sensitivity to the cold. But the payoff is finding yourself out there all alone when the fish are biting. And that's what keeps us coming back year after year. Plus, when you're out there in the winter, there's things that you just never see when it's warm. Pick your day and get out there this winter. Maybe I'll see you out there. Till next time, get after them.